Master, I am unworthy. Please, teach me your secrets. Yes, of course I will. In this lecture, I'll tell you how you get this nice little overlay I'm using while recording my gameplay videos. I like this overlay so much because it does not get in my way, it stays on top of the screen, it covers only a tiny bit of my screen. I don't notice it at all unless I directly look at it and it shows me all the important information I want to see like the FPS, the current battery status and occasionally uh, the CPU and GPU load. The setup of this is super easy. It's just downloading the application and hit the install button. It's all set up for you. It's super easy and you have nothing else to do. Before we start, there are two hints. The first essential hint is that currently this only works on Intel platforms and not on AMD platforms. So if you're using a GPD WinMax 2 or an Ioneo 2 or any other device with a 6800U, then this doesn't work. The second point is that currently this is only available for download on the GPD Discord. I'll leave the invite link in the description. You can make an account, you don't have to verify an email address or a phone number, it's completely free. The author asked me not to share a download link somewhere else until he fixed the AMD support. With the introduction done, I'll switch to screen recording and I'll show you how you can find the download link on the Discord server and how to set everything up. Here we are on the GPD Discord server. What you need to do is to scroll down and go to Tools. In the Tools section, you need to scroll all the way up until you reach the first post. Then you need to scroll down just a little bit until you reach April 16th from 2021. And this is the author of the program, Brother Chenwerk. I can't pronounce this. And here is the download link you need to click on. So let's do this. Browser window will open and you will be redirected to Google Drive. You click on download, download anyway, and just save this wherever. Enjoy your fast internet speed. Open the download location, extract this here, then click through all the folders until you reach the end of the file hierarchy. And those two files are the important ones, the monitor and the no monitor. What's the difference between those two versions? The monitor setup monitors your screen resolution and adapts the elements in the overlay according to the uh, screen resolution. For me, I always play on 800p. I don't need the monitor setup, so I choose the no monitor setup. One little downside of the monitor setup is that an extra terminal window will open and I find this annoying. If you ever want to switch between those versions, it's pretty easy. Just hit the uninstall bat and install the other one. So you can try out either one. So let's hit the install button. Click more info, run anyway. As you can see, this is based on RiverTuner statistics server and hardware info. It's taking a while. So here we have successfully installed everything, hit one key. And now we're done already. So we can close this and you have this shortcut now on your desktop. It's called overlay. I've put this on my start menu as well, so I can easily access this. Let's do a double click, open it. This takes a while as we have to start RiverTuner and 
hardware info. We do not want to update those. So hit no. And as you can see on the bottom right now, we have River Tuner statistics server and hardware info running. That means our overlay is set up. As a neat little extra, you have this River Tuner statistics server now, which gives you the frame limiter. That means you can limit your game to 30 FPS or uh, whatever. Let's set this back to zero. Zero means no limit. So to test this, let's start a game. I'll start Sigurat 2 here quickly. As you can see, our uh, overlay is ready. This does not start where it should because our game is set to 800p and not to a 16 by 9 resolution. So let's change this quickly and hit control. I guess we have to restart. And here you have it. Here we have the correct display of the minutes left. And that's it basically. As you can see, the setup is really simple and it adds great value to your gaming experience. I hope this will be compatible with AMD soon. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.